In this section, we're going to talk about security and the campus network design. We'll give you a high-level overview of a number of areas of interest around campus security. When we talk about security, these are the top-level areas that we'll be discussing. This includes policy framework, security foundation, which is network monitoring and management, a critical piece, encryption, protecting your assets against viruses, authentication and authorization, blocking certain types of traffic and network architectures and firewalls. We'll go into detail and much more depth on each of these items. Security is hard. Security is a process that never ends. Securing and monitoring the campus network is something that can be pretty difficult, particularly because campus networks need to be pretty open. You have many researchers, you have students, you have faculty, you have staff, and each and every one of these users has a different need on your campus network. This makes it difficult to lock a network down completely and force people into certain ways of working. You will always have viruses, attacks, and generally there's usually a few people who are acting poorly on your campus network. So if you're able to know when this is happening and respond to it, that's excellent and that is part of campus security. Your goal will be to prepare for the problems that you will have. You'll have some compromises, you'll have hackers, you'll have some viruses. Another goal is to understand how are you gonna to respond to this. So if you get a call from your upstream uh, internet service provider telling you that you have a report that one of your hosts is participating in a denial of service attack, what would you do? Do you have the right tools in place to deal with that right now? For instance, can you find that host on your network identify it, and then do something about that. If you're using network address translation for your external addressing, this can become more difficult. Security is a process. This is a process that repeats itself over and over again. So you can never achieve 100% security. So how you respond to incidences is important. It's a process that you have to continually work at. You need to assess what is at risk, and this changes over time as you add new devices, new functionality, and you have new people on your campus. Protection, so you need to mitigate risk as much as you can. Detection, can you detect when something has happened, when there's been an intrusion, or you have a compromised machine? Can you respond, and how do you respond to it? And then are you prepared to do this over again? It's a continuing process, and we will talk in detail in the next few sections on some of the specific aspects of how we do this.